Hey guys, and it's Ben, and welcome back to another episode of your Bucket Plug and Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at directional velocities. So, a velocity that continues in the direction that you are looking. So, I suppose let's get right into it. So, if we, you know, make an on command and do all the stuff we normally do. So, check uh, if the label equals ignore case test. Uh, then let's go over here. Return false at the bottom. You know, obviously the add more checks if you're doing this properly. I'm showing you how to do things. People are like, oh, why do you make all these tutorials of like, why don't you show us a big tutorial? I'm like, because I'm trying to show you different sort of things you can do that you might not have known about before. So if the sender is a player, we're going to say that uh, we're going to make a new player object, which is going to be equal to the sender, but casted to a player. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say player dot set velocity like we did last time and it's going to equal to a new uh, vector um, and in here uh, for the x y and z uh, we don't actually actually we don't even want this new vector we want to say player uh, dot get location dot get direction okay so that all that's going to do is that's going to keep their velocity exactly the same now what we want to do is we want to make them um, I don't know uh, let's make them shoot forwards um, so we want to say dot get direction, uh, and actually we're going to multiply this by uh, like four, or no two, no three. Okay, so that's going to you know multiply uh, out. We're going to multiply our velocity already by three, and then that returns a vector. So we're going to say dot set y. Um, actually, we don't, and then obviously, oh, sorry, and then we're going to say dot set, and then what we can do is we can say dot set x, dot set z, and dot set y. We can do all the vector stuff, so we can carry on doing it, and you know, we could even um, make a cross product of it. Um, we could divide, uh, we can get the distance squared, you can do all these things. What we want to do is all we want to do is we want to make them shoot forwards. So if we actually export this, uh, and I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, so I'm back in the game. Now, if I do, if I look here, and I do slash test, it's going to shoot me that way, you see, because it's shooting me in that direction. If I do it over, if I do it here, you know, we're going to shoot in that direction. If I do it over, like, looking that way, it does it in whatever. So if I'm looking this way, it's going to shoot me that way. If I do it this way, it's going to shoot me that way. Whatever direction I'm looking at. But if we actually go in here, and what some people like to do is, is they get the lo location, get direction of the person, and what they do is they, um, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, uh, let's see, no, they, I, it's, uh, let me, f um, 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 uh, I, I, I've lost it, I, I don't know, Get location dot get direction dot get dot two dot set. I never mind. Let's forget what I just said. So um, so what else can we do with this? We can you know make them you know all we can do really now is just make them go forwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the actually how we could make it do this automatically. So like I did with Kitty Cat in the Bat Knight, you see how when she sort of jumps off a block which has air underneath her, she will uh, f shoot forwards. So we're going to want to uh, copy this code here, delete all this, make sure your class implements listener and you're registering the events and you're on enable. We're going to make an at event handler. We're going to say public void on player move. And uh, in that we're going to say player move event and then we're going to say event. So we're just registering all that. Um, so what we do now is we're going to want to get the player. So we're going to say player player equals event dot get um, player. So the player that has moved. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check um, if the player is is you know their y axis is changing. So if event dot get uh, from dot get block y is not equal to event dot get uh, two dot get block y so if the y block they're traveling to isn't the same what we're going to check is we're going to say if a uh, player dot get location dot uh, subtract uh, zero one zero now explain this in a minute and then we're going to get the block um, dot get type 
is equal to material dot air. So what we're checking here is if the location dot subtract one, so the block below her or him, I'm gonna say key cax her. Um, so the second variable is y, and we're gonna get that block and check if that type is met. It's air. So if it is air, we just wanna you know set that. I'm gonna change it up to like six or so, and we're gonna make their y go up. So dot set y, um, and then we can say again player dot get uh, dot get velocity dot get y plus you know one point four. I, you know, we can do whatever we want. It's so customizable. So that's just gonna, you know, uh, shoot her forwards whenever she moves, or he or she jumps from a block that's one higher or jumps up, uh, and then it's gonna multiply their velocity by six and set their y to whatever it was plus one point four of the velocity. So if I, you know, drag this in here, I'll see you guys in five seconds. Just do this. Uh, reload. Where's in the game? Let's go. So if I jump, if I break these blocks here, and if I now jump, you see it, it's gonna. Now the reason it's doing this is because if I slash reload, um, if I disconnect, reconnect, uh, the reason it's doing this is because it's really. It, it's because I've. If I do slash test, I. It's because I've I've made it so. Let's remove this line of code, okay? And we want to add a cooldown. So we want to say if can, uh, do stuff. And that's gonna be what it's called. So boolean that uh, equals false. And if they can do the stuff. We want to do all of this basically, and they can. Only, and once they've done this, we're going to say get server dot get scheduler dot schedule async delayed task from this plugin in this runnable I'm about to create, um, like that. And that's going to we have cooldown is going to be 60 seconds. We're going to make a public void run because the runnable uh, implementation requires it. And in there, we're just going to say can do stuff equals true. Uh, sorry, can stuff equals true. There we go. And here we're going to say can do stuff equals false. So that's how we can do our cooldown. If we now export this and if we stick it in here like that, and if we reload like that, if I now <laughs> recording, um, <laughs> so if I jump off this block again you'll see I'm gonna shoot um, damn it. I'm gonna if, if can jump can do if can do stuff can do stuff equals true um, if we if we wait a second or so um, I'm determined to do this now can stuff equals true. So if, if they can, if I slash reload again, if I do slash plugins, do we have installed? Yeah, it's installed. Um, so, I don't know why it's not working. Yep. Okay, so I fixed it. Uh, basically, what I did is I, I removed all that can do stuff stuff, uh, and I just removed the Y thing because I realized if it's moving up my Y, then it's just basically going to move me up and then it's checking again uh, so if I get on top of this block and I jump it's going to shoot me way forwards so that's how that happens thanks for watching guys uh, if you haven't noticed I got a new microphone <laughs> obviously you can add cooldowns to this I've shown you how to do cooldowns in previous plugins which is why I went you know pretty, pretty quickly over it <coughs> and again you can obviously fly around like 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 proper flying so like I can control which way I go like up because it's actually doing my direction uh, and the direction that I'm going in so it, it's very controllable and I really enjoy it so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time